Hello, my name is Graham and I'm one of the Trust Chaplains. We've made this video to help those who've experienced the loss of a baby, either themselves or within their own family. Chaplains work and serve within the hospitals of Northumberland and North Tyneside. They are there to support any parent who has had the loss of a baby. Our compassionate response to those who wish to see a chaplain ensures that care is personal and helpful to parents and families. Chaplains support all people, whatever their faith or belief. They are not just there for those who declare a religion. However, if a family have a religious belief, then this is taken into consideration so that the right care can be provided. So, what can chaplains provide to help? Well, firstly, chaplains can be requested to see parents in hospital after their baby has died. Sometimes parents take comfort from words of blessing and also rituals which may be important to them, perhaps because of their religious belief. Usually a chaplain will offer prayer, words of comfort, and also a blessing card will be offered for them to keep. Some parents also appreciate the opportunity for a chaplain to say some words as part of a naming naming a baby with the special names that parents have chosen. A chaplain can be requested by a midwife, nurse, doctor or any other NHS member staff that someone meets during their hospital stay. Secondly, chaplains lead funeral services for those babies who have died. For early baby loss, before 24 weeks gestation, parents often choose for their baby to be included in a joint combined cremation service at either Tynemouth Crematorium Chapel, that's near North Shields, and that's called the Snowdrop Service, or the Teardrop Service held at Coupon Crematorium Chapel in Blythe. These services are held monthly, some weeks after loss. There are often several parents present after being given the choice by the hospital staff caring for them. Some parents make a personal choice right for them not to be present at the monthly services where their little one will be respected before cremation. At these services, the chaplain will greet families who choose to attend and using music, poetry, readings and prayer all taking place in the chapel. A white casket is carried into the chapel by a funeral director and curtains are gently closed towards the end with music playing. And any questions about this, please ask a member of staff caring for you. Each service lasts up to 20 minutes. And parents often say they were comforted by these services, either being there themselves or knowing that they've taken place without being present. Alternatively, parents can choose to organize their own private service, choosing between burial or a cremation. Funeral directors are there to advise and sometimes can call on the help of a hospital chaplain to lead one of these services. Sometimes, for parents who have had an early pregnancy loss, the chaplain may be able to conduct a short service in the hospital chapel with parents and other family members present. This usually takes place within a few days after the loss or even sometimes on the day of the loss. Parents need to request this service from the staff caring for them and then chaplains will need to be contacted to see if this is possible. For later pregnancy loss after 24 weeks or neonatal loss shortly after birth, parents can request either for a hospital organised funeral or perhaps a private funeral, the services of a funeral director of their choice. There can be a choice between either cremation or burial. If parents choose, they can have a chaplain to lead this service, again using music, poetry, readings, which are important to them in respect of the baby and also parental preferences. The chaplain should be able to create a personal order of service and print one out, available for those who attend that service. During the most difficult times, chaplains are there as part of the whole healthcare team to provide care, appropriate spiritual, religious and pastoral care. They will not charge a fee for that care. Sometimes chaplains will be present 
at annual collective memorial services and can support in entering names into baby memorial book or the memorial tree placed inside the chapel at the Northumbria Emergency Care Hospital, Cranlington. So whether a parent's loss is recent or some time ago, chaplains are available 24 hours a day to support. And chaplains can be contacted either via a member of the healthcare team or via phoning hospital switchboard or emailing using the email address displayed here. If you have experienced the loss of a baby, chaplains hope and pray you'll be comforted and be able to provide and care in a way that provides the right choice for you. Thank you for watching and listening.